Hi, I'm Dale Cook, 3IS. I'm the Director of Electrical and Electronics. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Sam Balestri, also with 3IS. Um, my, time, my role is Director of Architecture and Systems. I'm Mike Kaysen. I'm the Senior Electrical Engineer here at Monroe & Associates. So just to, just to give a start off a little bit about a background of 3IS, uh, our company is primarily involved in electrical and electronic systems and analysis of those devices and components uh, in vehicles. We get down into, pretty much we focus on anything with a wire uh, in a vehicle and focus on the deep dive of the electronics all the way down into the silicon, some reverse engineering functionalities that we do and uh, provide those reports to our customers. So at Monroe and Associates, uh, we are basically a world-renowned engineering consulting firm, and we specialize basically in design, uh, benchmarking, costing, and lean manufacturing. Uh, we're well known for our detailed uh, teardowns in our videos for vehicles and complex products, and we take those down to nuts and bolts and find opportunities to uh, improve quality, uh, reduce weight, and uh, cut cost. And with our Monroe partnership with 3IS, we have worked for probably close to seven years now together. And we provide with 3IS, we look at the vehicles that are torn down, we look at the electronics and provide what we call a zone E report, which is all anything with a connector on it is included in the report. Then we'll do a deeper dive and look at down to the component level and how they're doing the the control system the other thing that we can look at and that with our experience that we've got from the years that all of us have worked in the auto industry and electronics we can look at it and tell you why they did it which to me is more important than what and how the why tells you okay they had a problem they had to fix or they came up with a very unique solution for that problem. So with that, we can, we always provide with the report, a sit down with you to go through the report and describe in detail and answer any questions you've got, which those are usually a lot of fun because the challenge we give is, okay, ask a question that stumps us. They don't always get a chance to, to come up with one that does stump us, we, we know our stuff. Yeah, so for us with 3IS, you know, our, we don't have the, the brick and mortar facility that uh, Monroe has here. So it's been really beneficial to have this partnership uh, with Monroe because, you know, they got the space, you got the access to the vehicles, some very talented uh, technicians and, and engineers here that uh, we're able to work with and collaborate with. And, and we just wouldn't have the capability to, uh, you know, to do the teardowns and, and the analysis that, uh, that Monroe provides us the, the the capability to do so we we really we believe that relationship has has really been beneficial i think to both of us yeah. uh, in terms of the, some of the teardowns that we've done together yeah, and i think and i think on the roll side um you know we do are really good at getting down to details of the cost of the board right but to understand the whole system and the whole approach of how that works that's where you guys 3is comes in and really helps do a holistic view of that product right and it really helps our customers even further expand how that product works and helps them out. Fundamentally, today in today's world, when you look at the auto industry, you have you've got the styling that sets out sets things apart. But when you get down to suspensions and a lot of the things, body structures, there's the right way to do it. People know how to do that. Now we're getting to the point that the electronics, software defined vehicles. The electronics and that software is what people expect from their cars. Vehicles are becoming a rolling server. You've got the computing power of what used to be a Cray computer running around and interconnected in your vehicle. And there's lots of things that it's doing now that were done mechanically before. You don't see relays in some of today's modern vehicles. Relays were a common component. Everything's being done solid state, fusing, control. It's all being done with silicon. And with that, there's a lot of advances. And it's like, again, why did they do that? 
what were they fixing? What were they trying to prevent? We've looked at Watch Tesla in its development, going from what they had on the old Model 3 all the way up to the Cybertruck, and the advancements in what they've been putting in the vehicle have just been exponential at each step. And they have zero fuses for 12 volts. As a matter of fact, they don't even have 12 volts anymore. So you're dealing with 48 volt systems. Everybody tries to stay below that 60 volt threshold for the normal distribution, but fundamentally with 48 volts, things can get smaller. Gauges of wire go down, you save on copper. So it's very important. And again, why are they doing that? And also, I think there's a lot of emphasis right now in, in, in the way that electrical architectures have changed and are evolving because to support all of the things that, that Dale just mentioned, you know, there, there's a lot of impact on the architecture of the vehicle. And what we've seen Tesla, you know, move to, uh, you know, the zonal architecture and others are s more slowly moving in that direction. Those enable, right, some of the some of the things that Dale's talking about, the advancements in, you know, the, the automated driving and, and all of the other features that our customers are demanding today. Yeah, there's a lot of OEMs now who are now putting more electronics, of course, in their vehicles. And uh, ADAS is becoming popular. Um, and there are a lot more manufacturers or more OEMs moving uh, development in-house. That makes the systems more complicated, harder to understand. I mean, we can tear it down to the nuts and bolts and to the components on the board. But unless you understand what that function is actually happening in that component, which I think you guys come in and do really well, um, our customers get a really good value on that. So th our vehicles are becoming more electri electrified, a lot more components everywhere, as you're saying. Um, even simple components are now being combined into more complex uh, devices. And, and I think, yeah, I think the, 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 some, the OEMs are now saying that these, these architectures are now you know, strategic, yes, right? Very strategic. And, and that's why they're bringing the design of those in-house because they want to they own that. Design and, and software. I mean, they're doing development in-house as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just design, it's, it's, it's actually the whole software development as well involved. So it's becoming more and more important to understand what these systems do. Sure. So. Yeah, you can just reach out, drop me an email at dale.koch at 3isinc.com and we will set up a meeting with you. We've got reports on certainly all the Teslas. We've done EV9, you know, EV9s. We've got the, a number of vehicles that we've looked at and we're developing slowly kind of an architectural um, topology documents that are available. So drop us a note and we'll get something set up. Also our website, right? Uh, I think www.3isinc.com. You can see examples, re somewhat redacted examples of our reports, but uh, we, we summarize what's what's available and what we've, uh, what we've torn down and what we've uh, looked at so far. And if uh, you're interested in getting Monroe and Associates and 3IS as involved in partnership, uh, contact us. Our website is uh, leandesign.com and we should be able to set you up with uh, a project and help you get started.